Starbucks, Delta, Marriott, Uber, Lyft, Hilton. You know what they all have in common? Partner programs. And what that means? More money in your pocket. Let's get into it. So on this vlog I made, we are going to connect our Sky Miles from Delta and Lyft to get more points. So just click on the link. So for every dollar that you spend on Lyft rides in the US, you get an extra Delta Sky Miles for that flight of yours that you dream about all the time that you can't do. Or that you can't do. I don't know. Maybe it's not COVID now. Maybe it is. Who knows? So that's an easy way just to ride Lyft and get Delta Sky Miles. Next, there's Delta Sky Miles and Starbucks. So if you like your latte or overpriced coffee or perfectly priced coffee or underpriced coffee, you can go to Starbucks and click on the link. So for every dollar that you spend on Starbucks, Starbucks, you get a Delta Sky Mile. And then if you scroll down, you can see that they're doing a promotion until December 31st, 2022. So you get 500 miles just for linking the account. So that's pretty good for Delta. And then after your first drink, then you get 150 stars. So why not? And then on the days that you travel, you get double the Starbucks points and you get one mile per dollar spent at Starbucks on the regular. Next, we have the Marriott and Uber bonus. So click on this handy dandy link again and you get Marriott Bonvoy points with Uber. Link them together and you get points. So you get six points per dollar spent on Uber Eats orders that are $25 or more. And you get three X points per dollar spent on these expensive rides. And you get two X points per dollar spent on all other Uber Eats orders of $25 or more, including those from Marriott restaurants. Next, we have the Hilton and Lyft rewards. So click it again. Earn and redeem Hilton Honors points with Lyft in the US and Canada. So if you do it before October 31st, you actually get a thousand more points. So link your Hilton and your Lyft account to earn three points per dollar spent on Lyft rides, economy, luxury, extra seats, whatever. And then earn two points per dollar spent on shared Lyft rides. And then you can redeem them and you get money, money, money. So let's do that, right? So those are just four easy ways takes you, I don't know, five minutes and you get more points because why not? Now let's get into some coupons because bonus material. So there's these Google extensions on Google Chrome that are free that help you save on whatever purchases that you have for free. So I suggest these five extensions. Capital One is really easy. Just click this link and you automatically apply coupon codes for free. It's pretty amazing. And then a similar app is Honey. Also really easy to install. And then there's Retail Me Not, Coupon Cabin, and well, let's give an example. So this is Amazon. I just typed in Sure Microphone, cause why not? And you can see, since I have these extensions enabled, that gives me tips for Honey. So they found a lower price. I can compare at eight different stores. And this one was $3.99 on Amazon, right? And it's $3.59 on here. And you get 2% cash back, because why not? Moreover, you can see Capital One, this little S icon is also turned on, and they even found a better one, so let's click on that one. And voila, now you have an even cheaper option. So let's just view it on Dell Technologies, right? Because that's where it is. Um, just print yes. Great, cool. Oh, and look, Honey gives me an additional $10 off. So why not <laughs> apply that offer, right? And then um, there's also Coupon Cabin. It has, oh, let's, let's add that in too, because why not? Oh, 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 and, and Retail Me Not has another promotion too, so let's let's add that as well. Great, let's go. And then we're gonna add this to the cart. 
And just so you can read this, it says $207.23 after rewards. So this is the price. And then there's Capital One shopping rewards that are applied. So we're gonna add that to the cart, right? Oh, and then there's even more coupons. So I have two different sets of coupons right now. We're gonna go with the Capital One first and try the codes. I personally like Capital One over Honey, but sometimes Honey is better. Sometimes Capital One is better. Try them both and see which one you like. But this is 30% in shopping, rewards activated, okay. We tried three codes to make sure you got the best price, but didn't find any additional savings. Okay, well, whatever. Um, let's go with this one as well. By the way, I always suggest signing up for the rewards programs or making an account on other websites just because you can stack loyalty programs usually. So Dell probably has a rewards program that you can activate by making an account. And then you can also just Google, for example, sure microphone on Dell promo codes into Google and see if you can find them. But since I have Capital One and Honey both are ready and they're doing this for me. I don't have to go through the manual task of making promo codes. Okay. So it looks like Honey didn't really find that any good ones. So I'm just gonna stick with Capital One. So I'm gonna let that do that again. See, Dell Rewards, get it if you want it, you know, right? So check out, do it all, then you'll get your rewards in Capital One at a later date once, you know, I don't know, 30 days or 15 days or whatever it takes to deliver and whatever Capital One's policies are, usually within 30 days. But that's an example of how to use these different programs. My favorite is Capital One. So it looked like Capital One was the best one because it gave me $100 in savings. If you saw here, right? $119. So we've seen a lot of different promo codes and coupon extensions here for different ones I've mentioned. Capital One is usually the best one, but sometimes the others have better promo codes but I usually just go with Capital One, and then if it's a bigger purchase, I might test all of them out and see which one gives me the best rates. Sometimes they stack and sometimes they don't stack rewards, so I usually don't risk it and just go with Capital One. So, good luck. Hope you had a great time saving some money, getting some free miles, getting all that travel you wanted done, those points, those Starbuckses, those Hilton Wards, whatever have you. Good luck. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, and all that jazz. Just a small little note, technically all of these browsers use a little bit, like a very, very, very tiny bit of energy. So if you wanna save on your battery life, you can just turn them off. For example, if you click here, manage extensions, so you can just click this red button here and toggle it off when you're not using it to save that little extra battery life and turn it back on when you need to turn it back on. But up to you, you can always just leave it on just in case you want to save that little bit of extra battery life. You can also just make a different Google profile like shopping, for example. Um, if you click on this dot here, you can click on add create a specific Google profile for a specific account that has its own extensions and just download the extensions on that specific Google profile if you wanted to do that, but that's up to you. I'm just informing you of the options, but you can just create a different Google profile with separate extensions.
or separate logins and save time that way. This is just a bonus material for those people who stayed and watched the whole entire video. Thanks for watching. Now bye. There's also this extension called the one click extension manager that makes it one click. So if you have it on, you can click on it and you can just turn these off like that. Super easy. If you happen to have a whole lot of extensions because I do. <laughs> Thanks for watching and sticking to the very end of the video for this extra bonus material.